Hello, so we are back. And this time, with my first international job. Okay, so this uh, laptop come from Gibraltar. And uh, I'm not taking jobs from outside of the UK. But the customer said, uh, if you fix it or you can't fix it, doesn't matter, you can send it back to London to someone else. So I said, okay, we can send it. Okay, because it's a problem with... Uh, sending the items especially the items with batteries and i cannot uh, add uh, insurance or if I, ca I can add insurance it's mad expensive okay so good so what the customer is saying with this laptop i have the customer email here the laptop is asus um 431d doesn't start probably due to some water damage so that's the problem with this laptop no? This is a nice Asus laptop, Ryzen 7 and Radeon graphics. Proper nice, Asus ZenBook. Okay, so let's open this one and uh, try to see what is inside. How bad it is, that's the question. How old is the water damage or the liquid damage? Okay, so the back cover is out. Clearly someone opened this laptop. So check here. You see this one is broken. You can see it? No, probably you can't see it. Mm? So what do you think about the connectors? Are proper damaged, like proper, proper damaged. So clearly someone worked here a hard. Okay, let's see about those chips. They look weird. I oh, know they have just a mark over, like a mark color. Are not blow up. Huh. Okay. Okay, I can't see any liquid damage, so we have to take the board out. That means the liquid damage is on the other side of the board. Yeah, everything looks fine here. Yeah, let's open the laptop. Let's, uh, let's take the board out. Okay, so the board is out. Let's see. Let's have a look. <clears throat> and I can't see any liquid damage. I mean, usually you will see here liquid damage. Nothing. So how does this laptop die by liquid damage? I mean, clearly you can see the dust. This is, uh, you know... We can open and have a look, but I don't think so. We, I don't think we'll find like any water damage. You know what? There's no even point opening this here. It, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's no issues. Are no issue here. So here is the problem. Let's come with the power supply quick. Let's see what is happening. Nine twenty. A minus plus, and it's taking one amp. Wow. One amp without the battery, so the board just start. You think? Yeah, because it's a delay start, you can see. It's delayed, that's when the board started. Yeah, the CPU is getting warm. What? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> What's the catch? Are you okay? The laptop is working? So what we are doing here? Huh?
No. It's not coming only the power supply. Why? We test it together. Okay, let's remove this cable. You can't see the power supply. No, you can't see it. So the power supply, you can't even hear it. it. It's very short. I can see the LED, the red LED from the current flickering. So what we plugged from the moment uh, the laptop didn't come on, we plugged the screen. So removing the screen, and the laptop is starting, one amp, you can see. So the short, it's on screen. We have a short circuit on the screen. Okay, that's bad. Okay, so you know what? Let's open the screen, yeah? Yeah, let's open the screen. Let me take out the fan. Because clearly, the short is inside. And what can be short? Probably the 19. Hmm? What do you think? Yeah, right? We should open the screen. But probably this screen is stuck on the back. Oh. And it's all stuck together. Okay. Okay. Let's take a break. I will leave the I will leave the screen to heat up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. It's metal. And uh, we're going to remove the front bezel on the screen. Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So we heat up the screen a little bit. Now let's try to take... Let's try to take out the bezel, yeah? The plastic bezel. I think this will be a tricky job. Yeah, it is a tricky job. I swear this screen is one piece. The problem is if, if the plastic if the if the the black foil from the screen is coming out, you can have black lines on the screen. That's why this job is tricky. I mean okay the screen is faulty anyway. It's shorted. But what about if the screen is not shorted? What about if the if the cable is shorted and you break the screen? That can be a problem. That can be a problem. Again, okay, it's coming nicely out. It's quite flexible. Look at this front bezel. Quite flexible. You know what, I don't even want to look inside, because if it's coming out with the... Uh, and it is. <laughs> you can end up with, with lines on the screen. You know what I mean? Happened before. And it is. It, it did come out with the, with the plastic thingy. I can't believe. So actually, whatever you are scared, 
It's fine, it'll happen. <laughs> wow, I can't believe. Finally, we took out the front bezel, the, the plastic bezel. And that's that thingy what I told you. Hmm. Now, the question is how we are taking the screen out. I swear this looks like an impossible mission. How the screen is even stuck here? Oh, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. I feel it. You know what I mean? I'm not pushing more. This is freaking insane. They stuck the screen on the back. That's sick. That's crazy. And obviously they didn't they didn't put any sticky things. Uh what kind of sick people? What laptop is this? Asus? Insane. Okay, let's heat up the, the screen again. Let's take out the screen. Hopefully the screen is good. Hopefully the screen is good. Okay, let me have a look for a screen on eBay. So what laptop is this? Asus. Well, let me copy. UM431D. Let's see on eBay. eBay. screen oh 36 pound it's not that expensive 36 three six huh I mean it's not that expensive oh wait this is IPS about the all are IPS right Ah, non-IPS. Okay, so those are like normal, cheap copy. And those are uh, the IPS screen, yeah? 40 pound, okay. Oh. So the difference between IPS and a non-IPS is like what? 3 pound? Hmm. Okay, let's see because uh, I think the screen is hot enough. Yeah, it's the metal. It's wow! I can't even touch it. It's metal. Let's try to take out the screen. Don't worry, I feel it. I feel it. I'm not pushing more than I should push. You know how it is, you have to crack a few screens in order to get that feeling how much is too much. You know what I mean? And you go down, yeah, and you break the the sticky thing. Yeah, you can see, look here. You can see that band, that band is going down, so you have to just come with something strong and break that thingy. Here the same, look here, here is the same.
Don't worry, I feel it, I feel it. You see, you take this thing which is bent on that side and you cannot scratch the screen. You know what I mean? No, I feel it, I feel it. Yeah, so we took the screen out. Hopefully still on piece. Now, how we are taking the ribbon cable out? What is this? I don't... This is glue. That's crazy. So, this white thingy is glue. Rubber, sorry, it's rubber. Yeah, it looks like glue. But actually it's rubber, yeah. It's kind of kind of rubber, kind of glue. Okay, we have a blow-up connector because if we have a blow-up connector, this will be the third laptop in one week with blow-up connector, screen connector. But again, I can't see any liquid damage here. The screen has not been opened before. I can't even take the connector out. That, that's how badly it's blow up. Yeah. So let's have a look. This is the third laptop. Is the third laptop in one week with this problem. I mean, it's same like with the with the crimes, yeah. So after three crimes, it, that that per, that that is like a, a serial killer. Yeah, after yeah, yeah, I learned it from Dexter. Yeah. So same thing. If happened three times in a row, must be a common fault. Well, let's have a look together. So that's the screen connector. Of course, you can't see anything. You know what? Maybe the customer is right. It is liquid damage. Huh? You see the white thingy from the... This, the, the white thingy, you think it's... I can't see. This one. Can be water, can be. You know what? Look, I can see some green stuff inside. Here you can see some green thingy. Yeah. Can be water. And the connector. Yeah, definitely it's, it's, it's water damage or liquid damage. Here you can see. This thingy. This is liquid. The connector is blow up. I mean, all three pins are blow up from here. You can't even see them. They're gone. And those are just rusty. Yeah, look, look at the water. You can see the water inside. You can see where was the, the liquid damage. You can't see. Oh, you, you can now. You can now. You can see. So this is from liquid damage. You see those white spots. Uh, here is carbonized. Hopefully the GPU is fine. You know what? Hopefully the GPU is fine. 
because it's so easy for the 19 volts to come back to some uh, data video data pin and yeah there's nothing what can be done after that I mean, even now, looks weird. I mean, <clears throat> okay, I do have three pins which are blow up from, uh, or two pins, but why do I have so many pins blow ups here? Why there are so many? I mean, I have one more here. This is gone. Mm -hmm. I have one here one here now wait wait no so the backlight pins yeah yeah so check that the backlight actually are four one two three four so are four pins so i don't know why this yeah it's some space to, till the next one you can see okay so we are fine you know what we are fine we are fine we have four pins all four greens probably are coming from plus oh wait oh wait i just opened this and one wire <laughs> it looks bad I and mean, one wire just come out by itself i didn't broke it oh another wire comes out Okay, any more wires? <laughs> Let me see on the other side, yeah? Let me see on the other side if we have uh, four. If we have four greens. Yeah, we have four greens. So you see those four greens are all together it's one track after that we we have two spaces we are fine yeah don't worry another dodgy job here because you know you know what will be next <laughs> i can bet you can uh, you can uh, see the fi the future i can bet that you can see the future you can predict what will happen i'm sure you will be able to predict what will gonna happen okay let's see here let's see the screen i'm pretty sure you can predict now so what do we have here here you have some things which are coming out from the port those things what is this? Maybe I should clean it better. Yeah, it looks like new. Now my question is... Yeah, that's fine. My question is... The pins are shorted or not? No, no, they are not shorted. Oh, that's fine. They are together. No, they are not even together. Those two are together. Oh, those three are together. Okay, so the last one is blow up. Oh, no, sorry, all four are together. So the screen, the screen connector is fine. Or what? Ah oh, no, can't be fine. Look what is there. How this can be fine. And what is there? Look, pins. Look what is here. I have some pins there. Look. Crazy. How this can be fine? I 
I want to be sure nothing is shorting uh, my connector, you know what I mean? Because if we are doing the modification, then it's nothing to blow up in case something goes wrong, you know? <laughs> something goes wrong, okay, the screen connector blow up. If something goes wrong again, what do you think it will blow up? The screen ribbon came, all right. Yeah, looks fine. Look, look, it's proper clean. It's like new. It's better than new. Let's clean it. Oh. Uh, all done. It's nicely inside. You see, it's clean, no issues. Okay. Now let's check on the back. We need our. Uh, we we need to enter with uh, on this screen with something. With uh, we current, I mean with the uh, with the wires. Oh, this is gone. Okay, but those are fine. Oh, no, sorry. No, 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 no. Are okay. Are not to ground. Okay, are not connected to ground. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So we have those four. We can solder however we want. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's perfect. Yeah, I, w I want them together, you know? Yeah. I want them together. Yeah, even two is fine. Yeah, no problem. Now, let's do the trick. Now, let's do the trick. Let me dry the connector. So we will be bypassing the 19 volts. Okay, that's what we're gonna do here. So this connector is like that, right? Like that, inside. Good. Uh, and the thing it comes over, I can't believe. This it will screw us. My it will screw my uh, my modification. I can't because I need that thingy. Okay. Okay, so we have to take this out. Good. The connector is plugged in. Let's check one more time for short. Yeah, it's not short. Now let's get all four wires and do something. Like this it will be long, probably I will edit this part because, uh, you know, four wires I have to... Okay, let's check for short. Do we have any short? Yeah, no short. It's all fine. Now, what I will do... 
Uh, what I will do, you know what I will do. But I have no choice on the case like this, you know what I mean? Now, someone said in the comment on my last videos, said, sorry, okay, this is dodgy, it's not like original. You know what? This is better than the, this, this. Always a solder connection is better compared with a connector. So, so, so keep in mind this from Sorin, yeah? Always a solder connection is better compared with any connector, yeah? Don't forget this. Okay. Perfect. Now let's check. Let's test. It's very important to test. Yeah. Do our graphic chip is still good? Do our screen is still good? Maybe our screen is not good. I believe the screen is fine. Well, I really want to see if the graphics uh, is still good. Yeah. So what I will do, what I will do, I will plug the screen. Well, how can I plug the screen? Like this. Yeah. Good. And I will come with the power supply, and soon what we see like smoke. We are uh, shutting down the power supply. You see? Safe. Safety first. Okay. So we have the power supply. We don't need this, right? We need a ground. Yeah, that's a good ground. And we need plus, right? And it's coming on, you can see on the screen? One amp with the screen plugged in. Let's see if we have picture. Let's wait because, you know, the bias get reset. Let's wait. And it's working. I can't believe. Perfect picture. Look there. Nothing cracked. Nothing. No issue. No water spots. Perfect. What did I told you? told you so uh, we save some money to the customer we made this job more interesting trust me it's nothing boring like nothing boring more boring compared with okay let's order a new screen and let's order um, a new screen ribbon cable and let's replace them and we call that a repair you know what I mean Wow. Okay, I will edit this video, so I will uh, start putting all back together. See you in a minute. So what do I want to do? Yeah. Is to solder the wire straight there. Okay. Now let's remove the connector. Good. Perfect. And now we have the ground here. Yeah? That's how you can fix the antenna. If uh, actually, you have no choice on this case. If you try to put the connectors, uh, you'll see, it's not that simple.
perfect. So we have ground and we have the middle wire, yeah? Now let's put the other one and test. Now let's check. Power on. Perfect picture, no lines, nothing. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Now I know here it's a user, yeah? Give me one second. <laughs> I can't believe. I check here. Full signals, all networks. Let me connect. Okay, you can see there. Full signal, okay? So uh, the Wi-Fi is fixed. Now a little bit of hot glue over. And it will be perfect, yeah? Like new. It's better than new. What I, that I'm trying to explain you, a solder connection. You look, on that connector, yeah? You are losing like 0 0.5 decibels. You can do your ordinary search, you know? I done Wi-Fi and I remove my connector and I solder the wires. Just because you earn 0.5 decibels here yeah? or 0 0.5 decibels i know it's better but people say ah no 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 you're dodgy and actually no factor is dodgy because they put the connectors i mean they put the connectors so so i can remove it okay i got that but a solder connection it's always better, especially on rf on rf on that connector you're losing 0 0.5 0 0.5 on one and 0 0.5 on the other yeah trust me okay let's see the charger okay the charger is dodgy that's the customer charger you know what is funny if i call the customer and i said look you have some water damage under the screen you have a screen connector blow up but also your charger is faulty you know what the customer it will say you know sorry you try to rip me off you couldn't find a better reason like okay i've shorted something i've burned components you tell me the charger is faulty and the screen it has water damage you know what i mean now the charger has 19 volts you can see on the screen plug in the charger and it's not working it's no orange light it should be an orange light why is no working because it's no voltage you see zero volts let's try a trick yeah let me move the cable. Check now. Now it's 19. You can see? Zero volts. One more time. 19. And you have the orange light there. Yeah? So what is the fault? The charging port? No. It's the charger. Nineteen. Aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Zero. You can see? 19 0 so uh, you know it's very simple for me it's very simple to tell the customer you know you just you have to buy a charger but the customer is getting the laptop and you know to order a charger you need like two three days to order the charger you know what i mean we can go like an extra mile for the customer and you know try to make him happy Maybe we are lucky and the ground is this older here, yeah? Maybe we are lucky. I can't see the ground yet. No, I can't see it. I think they are so dodgy, they probably solder the, gar the ground here. <laughs> How can I do it?
Let's see. No, they solder the ground in one side. But the ground is soldered, okay? So the problem is not the ground. Then what is the problem? The problem is probably the cable. Yeah. But you think it's the middle pin? Let's have a look. So that's the charger inside the connector. And you know what? The both are soldered properly. You can see the middle wire is soldered properly and the ground. So what's the problem then? Huh. Hard to say. <laughs> Hard to say. I don't think we have a choice here. I don't have I don't think we have a choice. We have to cut down the cable and solder the cable back on the connector. Yeah. Cut the cable around here. It's unplugged. <clears throat> now clean the connector. Uh, don't tell me this is dodgy. Don't tell me that. No. It's anything, anything what I, I do and is not dodgy. You let me know. How, can, how this can be dodgy? I just saved the customer probably like 30 pounds. Right? Okay, so we have the ground and we have the middle wire. I think we need a little bit more ground. Like how I told you, it's easy to tell the customer, your charger is faulty, you have to buy another one. i done my job, I fixed your laptop. Boy, you can also go an extra mile. Okay, that's the ground, that's the middle. The middle I want is shorter. Yeah, like that. Now let's sort of the wire to the connector. Uh, we need to solder the wire there, yeah? Let me try to make this uh, more stable. If I can. It looks like I can't. Maybe I can. Yeah. That's perfect. So what first, the ground? No, the middle wire. Yeah. Let me solder the wire. Just add some solder. Yeah. Perfect. Tell me that's not a perfect solder. Perfect. Now what can I use? Yeah, I can use this. One second. I have some special thing. One second. Uh, I'm not sure how good it, this it will be. But definitely, 
this is uh, the right thing here yeah so this is uh, textile yeah this is textile it's not tape yeah that's great that's fantastic okay and now let's solder the ground If the customer choose to buy another charger, that's fine, you know. Now, let's be honest. What can happen? Nothing. All chargers are switching power supply. And even if the wires are getting short, uh, you know, the charger, it will just disable the, the voltage. Perfect. You know that. You know that. Okay, everything fine. Now all what is left, a little bit of hot glue. <laughs> a little bit of hot glue will be like new. Trust me, it's working. Let's test. Yeah, let me plug the let me plug the charger. <laughs> Look, the orange light, yeah, and it's working. You know, I'm laughing because I can, uh, you know, I can see the, from now the comments. Oh, that's dodgy. That's, that's not right. That's, that's dangerous. That, you know. Okay, one second. Now I understand it's not ideal and the charger probably it will get broken again because you know it will bend here. But it will work for a while, right? Wait, this thingy. Perfect, solid, yeah? Solid. A little bit loose. Can we do something about that? Yeah, we can. We can bend this thingy down. Yeah, that's the, that's the ground. Mm, a little bit better. Yeah, but it's working, you know, it doesn't matter. It's working. We have the orange light there, so it's charging fine. Let me put the back cover. Okay, all screws are in place. The laptop is still charging fine. Let's test it one more time. All working great. All working fine. Wi-Fi signal, we have max signal there, you can see. No lines on the screen, nothing perfect. I check the keyboard, the keyboard is working, the mouse pad is working, yeah, everything is fine. So the job is well done. And when I say well done, I really believe in that. 
Okay, so uh, I'll stop this video. Of course, you can do this job in a thousand different ways. I suppose everyone is different. And, uh, you know, it's not just enough. Okay, I fix it. It's about, you know, getting some satisfaction. <laughs> I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.